Hello everybody, welcome to the webinar series Lubricants and Coolants, part one called Rolling. My name is Arnold Uhl, I work for the company LUM in Berlin, Germany. This webinar series is a joint project of my colleagues Stefan Küchler, Sylvain Grassier and myself. There will be a brief introduction, then I would like to discuss step technology for particle and dispersion characterization with you present case studies for lubricants for cold rolling applications. In the end, there will be a summary and an outlook. And during the separation, the change of transmission was recorded and quantified by integral transmission in easy words area below the curve as a function of time. We have here the plot of the analytical result obtained by LUM, the clarification speed, the change of transmission with time versus customer's value for the conventional ESI. And we can see one lubricant is a most stable, one is in the medium range and one is unstable. It is the identical ranking obtained now after 17 minutes, 11 times accelerated and copied at the same temperature of 45 Celsius. Giving identical ranking of the lubricants also under different emulsion preparation conditions, which were not shown on the previous slide. Let's come to the second case study. Again, two oil and water based emulsions, lubricants for cold rolling, were to be compared. First, by the determination of the droplet size distribution. Second, by the combination of different analytical methods for the reliable separation stability characterization of a challenging sample. Here we can see the results the volume weighted cumulative distribution curves. For the white lubricants, it's a perfect match of the duplicate. For the brown lubricant, we record few deviations between the two curves. Once we have a look at the median value, we determine 3.3 something micrometers for the white lubricant and the median value for the brown lubricant is between 6.4 and 5.6 micrometers. There's also additional information available for the white lubricant. There was another method used, impedance-based method for particle size distribution characterization and the X50 in the other method for the white lubricant was determined as X50 is equal to 3.5 micrometers, which is in good agreement with the Lumisizer result. Let's come to the summary of the second case study, the white lubricant features. The droplet size distribution is narrower than of the brown lubricant. The median value X50 of the droplet size distribution is smaller. The instability index is tiny compared to the brown lubricant. By naked eye, before it is separated in an accelerated way, it appears homogeneous. After the accelerated separation, by using low relative centrifugal acceleration, it appears less separated. Compared to the brown, it is more stable against separation. The reliable characterization of lubricants, including challenging samples, consists of we have the lubricant, we have always available the naked eye. We have the direct accelerated stability testing in the Lumisizer, sometimes additional methods available, and the Lumisizer is able to determine the droplet size distribution. So different views onto the same lubricant help us to understand and to characterize also challenging samples. Let's come to case study number three. Six different lubricants were to be compared qualitatively and in a quantitative way. And we get the following results. Instability index after 10 minutes, we have two samples with very high values, sample number three, 0.888, and sample number six, 0.920. These two are the most unstable samples. Sample number six is the most unstable, second unstable sample number three. The other four samples have changed and have smaller instability index values. They are much more stable than the two. After 10 minutes, we are able to discriminate all six samples. But we can also learn that uh, we need only 40 seconds for samples three, five, and six. Same ranking, most unstable sample number six, second most unstable sample number three, third number five. Sample one, two, and four are close to each other. And here we recommend to run a few minutes longer, 40 seconds for the first three, 10 minutes for all six. 
The authors conclude there's a good correlation of the instability index with the separated oil and cream from emulsion taint and able to solve the problem of predicting the long-term rolling oil emulsion stability by this method. Six hours in the Lumisizer instruments versus one month storage in the hot air oven. It's much faster than conventional methods. It's more economic by saving time and sample amount. And last but not least, it's more environmentally friendly by using such smaller sample volumes and avoiding additional chemicals, avoiding the cleaning of sample containers and tools.